Welcome to the College of Knowledge. This time, my purpose, your purpose. The former owner of the Mail and Guardian Media Group, he is currently the chairman of Alpha Media Holdings and has received various awards for his work in publishing. Here is Trevor Nube. Have you ever wondered what your purpose is in life? I'm looking around the room. Have you ever wondered what your purpose is in life? Have you ever had a moment where you say to yourself, why was I created? Why am I in this world? What is my purpose in this world? Um, it is fair to say that this is a question that bubbles the minds of many philosophers and many religions. Uh, there are some who believe this complex question is a waste of time. They simply say we're in this world for your five minutes and move on. Don't waste your time asking yourself what your purpose is. Get on with it. I, I turn 56 next month, wink, nudge, um, birthday. And I still ask myself the question, why did God create me? Is what I'm doing my purpose? Will I get to heaven only to be told that I missed the mark? How do I know that what I'm doing right now is my purpose? The little reading I have done on this subject has made me realize that it is not all of us who are able to answer this question in our lifetime. Many people die without knowing or having bothered at all to ask themselves this question. There's a school of thought that says this question, whether we have a purpose or not, gets answered by those who analyze our lives long after we are gone. So it's not none of my business whether I have a purpose or no purpose. It's the people behind me who will analyze and decide whether I have a purpose or not. But I think it's important that we answer that question. Many do contemplate the purpose conundrum as they lie on their deathbeds. Let me quickly put down a few markers which are set in stone and not negotiable. There is no human being in this world that is exactly like you or you. There is no human being in this world that is, has the attributes that you have. You are, we are all made in a unique manner. Each of one is unique. Our DNA is unique. This then says, if I'm unique, my destiny and my purpose should also be unique. My understanding of this important fact means I absolutely don't need to compete with anybody because I'm different. <laughs> because I'm different from all human beings. I focus at becoming a better me every day, thus saving myself lots of unnecessary stress and frustration. Do I, Trevor Ngobe, have a purpose in this world? Yes, I, I believe I do. I'm not entirely clear about this purpose, but I have been provided with a few compelling events to persuade me that I do have a purpose. Allow me to share some of these events with you. When I enrolled at the University of Zimbabwe long ago, the only thing that I wanted to do was to study law. The law faculty was taking people with uh, a minimum of eight A-level points. Guess what I had? Seven points. I missed studying law by just one point. I tried all manner of things to change this reality until I realized I was meant to study economic history and not law. As if to confirm that fact, I passed economic history with a first class degree. I'm now convinced that I would not have enjoyed law and that I would have made a terrible lawyer after all. My desires at that particular juncture in my life did not match my purpose. The mismatch between our egos and our desires and our purpose is an experience that most of us, most of you around here, experience. And it causes frustration, it causes anxiety, and to some extent it causes depression. Now, I am persuaded that my purpose in life had nothing to do with law. But if anybody at that particular time had tried to convince me 
that I should not bother with the law faculty, I think I would have argued with them big time. I would have thought that they are getting in my way as far as my purpose is concerned. Prior to this, by the way, as I was um, at, at Mzilikazi High School, I was convinced that I wanted to be a DJ and that God has create, created me to be a DJ. I, I love being a DJ. My hero was James Makamba. My hero was uh, John Matinde. I dreamt of being John Matinde. I dreamt of being James Makamba. I practiced and mimicked them. Um, but I went for auditioning one day. And some guy down Samora Michelle Avenue said to me, she don't have a voice for radio. <laughs> Did this guy change my purpose? Or was he placed in my path to direct me towards my purpose? Do people change our purpose? Do events change our purpose? I don't think so. Instead, I think events and people are placed in our lives to help clarify our purpose. The truth is we only realize this long after the fact. Doors are closed on our faces so that we find our purpose. People walk in and walk out of our lives so that we proceed towards our purpose. While studying economic history at the University of Zimbabwe, I became attracted to the notion of being a diplomat. Wanted to be a DJ, wanted to be a diplomat. This dream was short-lived. I failed an interview at the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs, and there went my dreaming to be a diplomat. At close range, each one of these small details, disappointments, had a disproportionate impact on my life. The pain from the frustration, the disappointment was real. In the moment, it is almost difficult to find consolation from anybody or anything when you believe that this is what you are born to do and somebody stands in your way. Then I got a scholarship to complete my Doctor of Philosophy at Calgary University in Canada. I was a teaching assistant at the University of Zimbabwe. And life of, a research, of research and lecturing had, had replaced that, those fanciful dreams of being a diplomat. As things turned out, I failed to raise money to buy an, an air ticket to take me to Calgary, Canada. There went my other dream. For a moment, emptiness, hopelessness, and despair consumed me. While not realizing it in the moment, on reflection, I've come to realize that these are the mountains and valleys we must traverse to get to our purpose. There is no template for how we arrive at our purpose. There is no map or directions pointing us towards our purpose. People, in many instances, total strangers, weird circumstances and random events outside our control propel each one of us towards our purpose. Sometimes a cruel combination of failure and mishaps are part of the learning and refining necessary for progressing towards our purpose. Indeed, how we deal with, this, with these events sometimes shapes our purpose. The struggle to open a door that closes on you is perhaps intended to develop your strength and teach you perseverance, patience, and endurance. As it turns out, you soon realize that patience, perseverance, endurance are critical skills for a life full of meaning and impact. Many a time, Many a time you realize that these attributes are not just your, for your own benefit, but for the benefit of others. That's what purpose is all about. I've had many doors close on me. I've had experiences, I've, I've experienced the agony of doors banging shut and rearranging what I thought was a firm journey. For instance, having enjoyed seven years as the editor-in-chief of uh, the Financial Gazette, I was fired in 1995. Imagine the pain and the public humiliation. How many of you have been fired? None. When it happened, when it happened, it was one of the most painful experiences in my 33 years of life. At that particular moment, it was difficult to see how I could navigate past this disaster. These hurdles, what I call detours, what I call rerouting, instead of scarring us, actually prepare us for our destiny and purpose. 
You cannot camp or circle at these stopovers. They are not your destination. You must just move on. Within three months, another door opened, which I would never have considered as an option as long as I had this comfortable, high-profile job as editor-in-chief of uh, the Financial Gazette. But editors don't get paid well, as, as my friend knows over there. Being fired, it turns out, was an important element for rerouting me from the comfortable salary job into becoming a media entrepreneur. It was a way of uprooting me from my seven-year comfort zone onto a period of rapid personal growth. Not all rerouting is as dramatic as being fired, but it sure takes you out of your familiar and uh, into uncharted territory. With the benefit of insight, I can now say thank you to my boss who fired me, because if he hadn't, I wouldn't be standing in front of you today. Have I told you how I got... <laughs> Have I told you how I got the Financial Gazette job? Wait for it. A group of Zimbabwe Economic uh, Society colleagues, after a regional seminar, thought I had the face, the face, and the voice of a television guy. With no training in journalism, I've never been trained in journalism, let alone television, I found myself anchoring a national prime television program. Most of you were not born by then. The then pro proprietors of the Financial Gazette spotted me and headhunted me. How amazing is that? From being an editor of one newspaper, I have built a company owning four newspapers, employing over 400 people. The things that I'm passionate about confirm that media is a big part of my purpose here, here on Earth. We made an acquisition in South Africa and expanded into the continent. The acquisition of the Maryland Garden was certainly a big part of that purpose. Examine closely the lives of your role models and you'll soon realize the journey towards our purpose is never linear. We overthink this thing. It takes detours. We go up and down, acquiring the necessary skills, the experience and exposure to fulfill our purpose. Examine the life of uh, Steve Jobs, Barack Obama, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, and you'll witness serendipity, rerouting, detours, and less of a deliberate planning as these great people journey towards a life of purpose. Our journey towards our destiny can be compared to the four seasons of the year. You encounter dry, low valleys, rainy days, harsh, cold winters, and the beautiful season where the grass turns green and trees flourish a variety of hues. The challenge set before us is to survive all these seasons and emerge on the other side wiser and stronger as the four seasons will be back again. Each season visits us to teach us lessons critical for our survival. Life is truly a journey. It takes us to places which at first seem strange, but when you look back, there's a reason why you visited these strange places. Without these visits, we wouldn't be ready and prepared for our purpose. Our challenge is that we want to make sense of every place visited while the journey is underway. When in actual fact, these are pieces of a puzzle that only makes sense at the end of the journey. In the majority of instances, growth, which is necessary for fulfilling our purpose, really happens when we are in familiar territory. We have to suffer the pain of being uprooted from familiar territories and the anguish of being planted in unfamiliar territory for us to grow towards our purpose. The things that test us in life generally strengthen us. Our values are molded during tough times. Our anchor gets stronger and we develop a set of ethics and principles to make us better human beings. There is no microwave way of developing character, values, and principle. So, so, so be humble when you fail and are rejected. Be strong and courageous when doors close on your face, for this is your portion towards your purpose. Be open to learning, throw yourself into life, and enjoy it thoroughly. Listen to your heart. Your purpose is in your heart. Listen to your spirit. Listen to your inner voice. That's where your purpose is. What is purpose? Purpose is what we do here on earth while having acquired all the skills 
experience and networks. Purpose is what we do for the benefit of others and not necessarily for our selfish benefit. Purpose occurs when we give meaning to our lives by extending ourselves beyond our personal needs. Purpose is fully realized when we transform from being successful to being significant. Purpose is when we do all things as if unto God and without expecting to be thanked or receive a reward. Purpose is when we use Purpose is when we use ourselves, our time, our experiences, our networks towards the betterment of the person next door in our society. Purpose is not a destiny that we arrive at. It is not an event. It becomes a lifestyle that gathers momentum till the end of our lives. Purpose is not self-centered. It is generous, it is nourishing, and it is fulfilling. My time is up. Thank you.